This is a 100 mil volumetric flask, and we'll show you now how to use volumetric flasks themselves. The first thing you should do is wash it to make sure that you have it clean. Uh, if it looks reasonably clean, just a rinse of distilled water is usually enough, again, into my waste beaker here. It doesn't have to be dry because you're going to be adding uh, distilled water to it anyway. So the amount of small amount of liquid there is irrelevant. Here I'm going to dispense 10 mils of a liquid into that flask. There we are. Okay, and again, we allow this to dispense directly into the volumetric flask this time. And resist the temptation to use the bulb to speed the process up. Once it has stopped, and you've counted 10, touch the tip of the pipette to release it. And away we go. Now, at this point, use your distilled water bottle to wash down the sides, and we'll be adding. Now, there is no point in squeezing 100 mils out there. So if you want to be quicker about it, just open the neck of your distilled water bottle and pour in until it's about 2 thirds full, like this. Now, at this point, take the container and put the cap on. Notice that I'm holding the cap on with my fingers and invert several times. Let the bubble do the work. You're not playing the maracas here. Just allow the bubble to stir it so that you've now got a uniform uh, solution behind. Take the liquid off and add water until you're almost at the calibration line. Now, the calibration line is actually where my finger is. So we'll get it fairly close, fairly quickly. Now that we're almost at the top, um, instead of using the drop of the squeeze bottle, which is not actually all that easy to contain, use a dropper. And I'm going to get my head down so that I'm seeing the line of the volumetric calibration rather than as a circle. And I said, do this at eye level. Add it dropwise until the bottom of the meniscus is tangential to the line. If you want to, you can use a burette reader card to make that a little more obvious. I think I've got about one more drop to go here. There we go, and two drops. The meniscus tangential to the calibration line. Now, now that I've got it actually at the line, again, put the cap on, hold it with my hand, and invert several times to make sure that I've got a uniform solution. And this is now a 100.00 mil solution of 10 mils of my initial liquid. The second way of using a volumetric flask is to dissolve a known amount of solid. Now, here I've got a previously weighed amount of solid, and we dispense this carefully into the volumetric flask itself. Make sure that everything comes off, and again, use your squeeze bottle to wash everything down inside. If you used a funnel to get this in, use the wash bottle to rinse the funnel to make sure that everything has gone inside. And again, there's no point in trying to squeeze out 100 mils, so we'll pour two-thirds of this full. Add the cap, and again, hold it on with my fingers, and invert. And look to make sure that I've got all of the solid dissolved. And you may want to swirl it this way as well. Now, 
for the demonstration. I think I chose something that would dissolve quickly. Here is the calibration line. I think you can see it a little more clearly in this example. And so let's add enough water to get it close to the calibration curve, calibration line, excuse me. And for the last little bit, again, I'll be using a dropper and getting my eyes down to the level of the calibration line, which is right here. I'll hold this card in so that you can see it perhaps a little better with higher contrast. Not quite enough. A couple more drops. And there we have the bottom of the meniscus tangential to the calibration line. We've now got exactly 100 mils in here. Again, put the cap on and invert a few times to let the bubble do the stirring so that we've got a uniform solution. Now, analytical glassware comes in two different grades. This particular volumetric solution is in a B grade. This is an A grade volumetric flask. And you can tell because it's got a capital A printed right on the label. This one does not, so it's a B grade. An A grade uh, for volumetric flask is, in fact, plus or minus 0.08 of a mil. The tolerances for a B grade is twice that of an A grade. So this is, in fact, plus or minus 0.16 of a mil. It actually happens to be printed right on this uh, volumetric flask. But there are tables in your textbook that will tell you what the tolerances are. <laughs>